Hello, my name is Dre Manning. I am the co-founder and managing partner of Black Crown Media, and um, I look a mess. It's hot, and um, I guess this is a vlog. Uh, we're gonna talk about my journey through this process of you know being a co-founder of a uh, digital marketing and video production company or a full-service digital marketing company and um, yeah hopefully I can share some inspiration with you guys we're starting this journey a little late I would have started back in October of 2019 but I just had you know so much going on so I guess let's get you up to speed I'm bald-headed by the way too guys so if you notice uh, I got the little horseshoe going on but um anyway yeah entrepreneurship uh I, I meet so many different people who um say that they they want to be entrepreneurs they want to go into business for themselves and i always wonder if they truly understand what that means give me one second let me turn on this music So I always wonder if they truly, truly understand what, what that means. Like, what does it mean to be an entrepreneur, right? Because it's just this association with uh, self-employment and um, what, I, I, what I think so many young entrepreneurs like myself fail to realize is that working for yourself means working, <laughs> right? It's not just the glorification, right? There's no, there's no vanity in it. Right. We see all of the the Grant Cardones, the Gary V, you name it. Right. We see all of these guys who and women who decided that they were going to take a risk and make a living off of their own merit. And what that looks like to us is like, wow, if they can do it, I can do it. But what we fail to like acknowledge at times is that there was a journey for these guys. Here we are in 2020 and we're watching their stories and we're just like, oh my God, I can be just like this person. I knew, I knew I was on the right track. You know, I've always had this mentality. I knew I could do it. I knew I could do it. But you got to really think about it. Like what if their most successful years was the last five years, the last three years, the last two years leading up to that, it was just a constant and consistent hustle right and within that hustle yes there is struggle right having the entrepreneurial gene or always having the business mindset that doesn't necessarily mean that we all should jump into entrepreneurship that doesn't mean that we all should own businesses it could also mean that hey you can make a greater impact in other spaces and other institutions right it really makes me think and truly consider how i want to educate the people that's around me and you know not let them get caught up in this whole idea that you know entrepreneurship is the key to freedom and success um it's not you know it's not it's really not designed for everyone right because when I think of entrepreneurship, I'm thinking about what void am I filling? What impact am I making? Why is it important that I be the one to step into this role? It has absolutely nothing to do with the financial gains that we can experience in this space, but it has everything to do with the type of impact that we're making for the people that we are choosing to work with, the businesses that we are choosing to work with. Because entrepreneurship is not a calling, it is a choice. I'll say that one more time. Entrepreneurship is not a calling, it is a choice. You have to choose to take that leap of faith. You have to choose to jump out the plane without a parachute. You have to choose to say, I am going to get up every day and I am going to bust my ass until my family is able to live the way that I want to and the, the way that I'm envisioning for them, the way that they're envisioning for themselves. You have to get up every day and make that decision. Entrepreneurship is not about that one choice. It's about the continuous decisions that you are going to make. There is no practicality in this shit there is no hey i just know every like i just know from day one this is everything no you have to choose it on day one day two day three day four and so on and so forth it has to constantly and consistently be a choice and you have to be willing to put the work in are you built for this and that's the question that you have to ask yourself you know, everyone else is going to look at you and say, hey, what's your plan A? What's your plan B? But you, you have to wholeheartedly ask yourself, 
are you built for this? I am an avid sneaker lover. Like I'm the guy that buys like six or seven pairs of sneakers and one and one uh, uh, store visit. Right? I am that guy. Making this decision, I haven't bought a pair of sneakers in quite some time. I had to make a sacrifice. I used to have office spaces and photography studios, but when I made the decision to leave my nine to five, I had to make sacrifices, right? I knew making this decision ultimately was going to affect everyone around me. So I had to make decisions where uh, I wasn't part of the problem and I was more of the solution and I was coming in to be the solution you know taking this taking this risk i'm able to spend more time with my four-year-old you know he gets out of school early so i get to pick him up and hang out with him right even though he you know he's a mama's boy but i get the chance to hang out with him right i i also had to realize that there were certain things that i would have to depend on my wife for right and you know the male ego is definitely something hard to shatter uh right along with its pride but When you realize something is bigger than just you, fuck your ego. And that's just it. When you realize something is bigger than you, fuck your ego. You have to make decisions. You need to make choices. And this was something that was a long time coming. It was a choice that I knew um, I would eventually have to make. And when I finally made that decision, I was all in. And even throughout this experience, I've constantly question if I was making the right decision and then I get a phone call or I get a meeting or someone asks me to come in and consult with them or someone's just asking me hey can I take you to lunch and grab a can we grab a coffee I just want to you know can I pay you for your thoughts I want you to be part of uh this process that we have going on what's it gonna cost to make it happen and I'm like holy shit fuck this was worth it this was worth it. And that's when I get I get pumped. When I'm telling you, I get hyped as fuck. Because in that moment, I'm realizing... I'm still going to question this. At some point, it's on down the line if this was the right decision. But Jesus Christ, this was the right decision. And knowing that I have to constantly make this choice every single day wake up and make the decision to continue to be an entrepreneur to continue to run my own business to continue to work with my partners to continue to work with my clients to continue to be a source of inspiration not only for my children but others as well to continue to build out the foundation and the groundwork for a community of people that honestly look like me and don't believe that they can do this I have to make that choice to continue like this. I am an able bodied human being. I've never been to jail. I've never, I I mean, I did like an overnight for like a ticket, but I've never been to prison. You know, I've never had my life in danger to the point that I needed to relocate. I'm an able bodied human being who was able to make decisions for himself. Right. So why the fuck would I not make the choice every day? Now, I, again, going back to being human, I am, I am definitely going to have moments where I'm just like, wow, I don't think this thing is for me. Or maybe I should just, you know, go get a part time and go get something. But we'll talk about that later on down the line. We'll talk about those steps that you take when you say, hey, I know I can make a living off of this. I know I can make a greater impact. Let, let's focus on that. When you make the decision to say, I know I can make a greater impact in this industry if I'm able to allocate all of my time into it, right? And that, again, that might not look like entrepreneurship. It might look like leadership in other institutions and in other organizations. And that's where I don't want people to get things confused, right? Entrepreneurship does not like having that entrepreneurship gene or having that leadership gene does not does not align with business ownership in no way shape or form what it aligns with is leadership right and that can go into any any space but when you choose to become an entrepreneur or self-employed or a business owner you are making a decision to work for yourself for your clients, for your employees, but you still 
are working for someone. Because if you're working for no one, then what are you working for? What impact are you making, right? This is not a calling. I truly believe that. This is not a calling. This is a decision. And it's one that you need to make every single day. Entrepreneurship is a decision. And it's one that you need to make every single day. Now, I think leadership is a calling. And that might be contrad- I might be contradicting myself. I think leadership is a calling. It's one that we run from. But we go headstrong into entrepreneurship and business ownership. Why? Because we see economic freedom. We see economic freedom. And that's what differentiates it from being a choice and a calling. Because most people are doing it for economic freedom or economic freedom. Right? They want to be able to build out a legacy, a financial legacy that sustains their lineage for the rest of their line. Right? So, yeah, I mean, that <laughs> shit. <laughs> there goes my rant. Um, again, you know, entrepreneurship is, is it has its great sides, but we're going to explore all of that, right? We're going to explore the great sides. We're going to explore the bad sides. We're going to just be real with ourselves. I want to be as real with y'all as possible. I don't know who's even going to watch this, right? I just know I need to and I want to start documenting.